Alright guys, so I came across a post asking for some help with printing these masks for staff and patients for the COVID-19 virus um, using a 3D printer. Someone much smarter than me came up with the design. Um, they're open sourcing the 3D file. Um, you can find a lot more information on billingsclinic.com slash foundation. I'll uh, put a link to that uh, website and it's got the 3D files. Um, and everything you need there. So I printed my first mask, um, trying to print a bunch of them, got my 3D printer going, trying to get a few others rolling. Um, this is full scale. I'm 6'3", uh, 250 pounds on a good day. Um, and the mask fits me pretty well. I'd say for most hospital folks uh, that are smaller, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna print this between 80 and 90%. Um, so the mask looks like this, pretty straightforward design. Um, it's got the mask itself, um, dimension for your face. Uh, I routed some elastic cord through there so the head would go through here and here. And I have a few of these push button things and I've managed to source about a thousand feet of this cable. So I make as many of these things as I can. Um, the other part that they include in the, the file is this part which holds the filter. So they instruct you to cut, especially for a hospital staff, a two and a half inch by two and a half inch piece of the N95 mask material. The concept is, is you can cut a mask into, I believe it's six pieces, and get six reusable masks out of one N95 mask. So you take the, the filter bracket, goes in there like this, and what I did is just simply put the mask face down, put it in there. It makes a pretty tight seal. Um, I'm using paper towel for this demonstration but the other material I'm sure is, is much thicker and gets a better, a better fit. Um, does give a pretty good fit around the edges. Um, again, with the tighter material, it'll, it'll be even better. Uh, it is kind of free floating in there, so um, you know it could pop out if you push it back into your face really hard. Um, but essentially, it's pretty straightforward from there. This goes, you know, these two slots go, or, or bands go over your head and uh, the mask itself goes around and then I've got this little adjustment button in the back. Um, I would suggest for those printing them, you know, again, you're going to need to be probably in that 80 to 90 percent range for folks with smaller faces. I will say it does do a pretty good job sealing, but anything with a rubber gasket or the paper ones are probably going to do a little bit better, but uh, this is a PLA plastic, so it does conform pretty well. Um, again, check out Billings Clinic dot com forward slash foundation they have all the plans and more information on there i'm essentially just copying what uh, they were asking for and recommending thanks a lot have a good one